Welcome to Cavaletto Studios. I'm Chris. Looking for a quick way to move and feel better? This all standing yoga stretch is a great go to whether you're at home or on the road traveling. Maybe you struggle getting down on the floor or have trouble kneeling. This class will incorporate some deep side to side knee stretches that you can adjust to your level of comfortability from a standing position. So let's get started. Let's begin at the top of our mat. Let's take a look at our toes, make sure they're pointing forward and they're about one to two fist distance apart. Go ahead and soften those knees. We're gonna open up, find your Tadasana, your mountain. Good, feel each corner of your foot, each edge of your foot pressing into the floor. Notice if you are rotating to the outer edges or the inner edges of your feet to try to flatten them out. Good, if you're comfortable, close your eyes for a moment. Slowing down our breath. Take a nice, long, slow, gentle inhale through the nose. And slowly let it out through the nose. Preparing our body for our practice. Again, inhaling. And with your exhale, feel everything relax. If there's any mind chatter, any self-doubt, just let it go with the breath. Notice if we guide our ears over the shoulders, shoulders over hips, standing a little taller, opening that chest and continuing to breathe. Relax those shoulders on the exhale. One more breath, grounding into the earth. And then blink your eyes open, put a big smile on your face, lift and lower those toes off the floor, give them a wiggle. And then we're gonna inhale, reach the arms overhead, tilt your head and look up at the fingertips as they touch and then exhale the arms back down next to your body. And then again, inhaling, reaching the arms up, and then slowly exhale, let them float down. And then inhale the arms to shoulder level, soften the knees, and then relax the exhale, shoulders come down and relaxed right here, just arms still out. Good, on your next inhale, rotate to the right. Try to keep your hips facing the front and then exhale through the center, rotating, inhale to the left. And then inhale, exhale, and then inhale back through the center, lift the arms, palms to heart space, exhale, hands to heart. Inhale, press the arms up, keep the palms together. Exhale, palms back to heart space. Two more times, inhale, press the palms as you lift the arms up. Exhale down, inhale one more time. Third time's a charm. Exhale, hands to heart. Good, keeping our hips facing the front, soften the knees, twist to the left again. Pushing, pushing to the left, yeah. Pushing the right palm into the left, keeping the hips forward, and then come back through the center, nice and slow, twisting to the right. and then slowly coming back through the center. We're gonna inhale the arms up, and then exhale both hands behind the back, interlace those fingers, press them, the palms together as you open up your chest, a little chest expansion. Take a deep breath in, and then when you exhale, we're gonna release the fingertips, let them float to shoulder level. And then bring your right arm under your left for eagle arms. So now if this is challenging, you can always bring your palms to your shoulders. You can stack your elbows. I'm gonna turn forward so you can see. So you can always be here or stack those arms. Soften the knees, good. Keeping the hips facing the front. Twist to your right. 
and then slowly transition to the other side. <clears throat> and then coming back through the center, gently bring those arms up and down. Elbows rise and elbows come down. One more time. Find your center. Unwind your arms. Extend them out. Opposite elbow underneath and twist them. Good. And then twist to the right and through the center and then back to the middle and up and down. Lift and lower those elbows. Keeping that head neutral. Third time's a charm, up and down. And then unwind those arms. Inhale the arms up. Exhale, forward fold, swan dive. Towards the floor, tap, and then inhale, lengthen, straighten the arms, flatten the back. Half lift, exhale, Fold, soften or bend the knees. Inhale, rise. All the way up, tap those fingers. Exhale, palms to heart space. And then open to mountain. So we're going to continue to move through some postures and we can really stretch the body as we stand tall. So right leg is coming back for warrior one. Draw the arms up, bend into the front knee. Now we're going to move through this and then we're going to exhale palm to heart space. Pull the back right toe, tap the floor next to your left foot. So you're standing tall again and then inhale back to warrior one. Number two. And then we're repeating that same thing for three. Pull the knee and the toe in and then come back to number three and open. So third time's a charm. We might get a little deeper. And then palms to heart space, pull off your back heel, slide that foot in slowly and find your mountain. Nice and tall. Inhale, arms up to the sky. Exhale, palms to heart space. Left foot back, warrior one. Draw the arms up. Good. And then hand to heart. Back toe comes forward, tap it, stand tall and then slide back again. Number two, palms to heart, slow and controlled, tap it in. Number three, and then melt into your warrior one. Drawing those arms up, you can have the palms together or apart, and then palms to heart space. Slowly bring that leg forward and up. Find your mountain, open it up. Draw the ears over shoulders, shoulders over hips. Take a deep breath in and then slowly let it out. Now we're going to transition to warrior two. So you're going to take the right foot back and you're going to open wide, nice and wide. So your feet are like an L. Make adjustments, move the hips, move the feet, extend the arms to the front and back of your mat, looking over your left fingertips, bend into that left knee and then straighten it out and then repeat again. Bend into it. See if you can go a little deeper and then straighten. And one more time, bend into it now. Straighten. Now when we bend into this one, your knee is over the ankle. So if you can go way forward, maybe you can bring your toe forward and sink deeper into it and really feel that back hip stretching out. Now we're going to stretch it, go a little deeper. Flip your left palm up. Reach forward, reverse your warrior one. Sweep the forearm to the thigh to side angle. Extend the right arm over the ear. Flip your warrior again for number two. Rotate and then slowly come back to side angle. Number two, we're doing three of these. So rotate, reverse warrior and side angle. Extend and hold. Feel that nice stretch from the back outer edge of your right foot and then come back to your reverse warrior. Hold it here. Straighten out that front leg. Bring the palms together to heart space. 
bend into that front knee, and then rotate, reach the arm towards the front of the mat, rotate your arms, reach forward, heel toe, or gently pull that back leg forward. So it takes a little bit of effort, but you gotta pull it forward. This is where our leg strength comes in. Come back to mountain. So we're trying not to use our hands, our wrists. Instead of folding, folding forward, we're just gonna use that leg strength. Take a deep breath in, inhale the arms up. Exhale, palms to heart space. Left foot back, warrior two. So we're trying the other side. Extend the arms to the front and the back of the mat. Extend those arms, look forward over your right fingertips. Right knee is bent. The body, the hips, instead of facing the front of the mat, now face the side. We're gonna straighten out the front leg and then bend into that right knee. Just continue to straighten, and then we're gonna bend. We got one more time. We're gonna straighten, number three, and bend. And see if you can move the toe forward. Make sure your knee is over your ankle. You can see your big toe, and the knee is not collapsing into the left, but opening to the right. Flip your right palm up, reach forward, reverse warrior. So reach it up. Now that top arm, we're gonna windmill it to the thigh, side angle one and then we're going to reverse that warrior slowly windmill it up and then back to side angle two reach the top left arm over the ear and then three reverse warrior and then find your side angle and hold and open up that chest feels so good as we ease into the postures when we move through those, a little dynamic stretching, let's find our reverse warrior, reaching it up. And then bring the palms to heart space. Pivot your body towards the front of the mat. Use that core and the leg strength to pull that back leg forward. Find your mountain. Line up those ears over the shoulders, shoulders over hips. And just close your eyes for a moment again. Open up the palms, feel the chest and the heart space opening. Just notice what's going on in the body. Maybe wiggle the toes. Now we're gonna take that right foot back and we're gonna go to crescent lunge. We're gonna take it all the way back. So you're going on the back of the, the back ball of the foot, heel off the floor, draw those arms up and relax the shoulders. Now we're gonna move through this one again also with, for three, three counts. So you're gonna lower, bend that back knee. So you go a little lower and then straighten the back knee. So the front knee stays bent the whole time. You're just lowering, bend that back knee and then straighten the back knee. So you can get a little deeper with that front one more time. Bend that back knee and then straighten and pause and hold here. Thumbs towards the back of the mat, breathing, and then bring the palms to heart space. Lean slightly forward, put all your weight in that front left foot. Use your core strength and leg strength to step forward to mountain. Nice and tall, Tadasana. And take a deep breath in, and we're gonna take the left foot back. Find your crescent lunge. One side might be easier than the other. Draw the arms up. So the back leg is straight, Front knee is bent. You're on the ball of the foot on that left foot. Now we're gonna bend that back knee, lower into it, and then straighten the back leg, and then bend, lower it. So good hip flexor, stretch, and then straighten. Third time is a charm, bend that knee, straighten it up, open up that chest, find your crescent. And then we're gonna bring the palms to heart space, start to lean forward, use that core strength to stand nice and tall, pull that back leg in, find your mountain, nice and wide. Now you're gonna take a foot, one step back, nice and wide. I'm gonna take a step back with my left, we're gonna just turn open nice and wide. Find your star, we're gonna lift the arms, open them up. And then we're gonna bend the elbows, bend the knees, find your goddess. Nice and tall through the spine, open that chest. 
and then find your star. And then we're gonna also do it again, bend the knees. Remember, three times, inhale, lift, and then one more time, goddess, and then find your star. Open up nice and tall, let's open that chest a little more. Feel the elbows in the shoulder blades pulling to the back wall. Keep the chin in alignment, and then find your goddess, bending into it, opening it up, tucking those hips under. Now you're gonna take both hands and bring them to the thighs. Both hands to the thighs. Stay tall through the chest. Knees are open, toes are wide, turned out. Draw your right shoulder towards your left knee and twist. Pressing into that right inner thigh and then slowly coming up and transition to the other side. And then coming back through center and then we're going to slowly straighten out the legs. Inhale the arms all the way up. Exhale, palms to heart space. Now you're going to turn your toes in towards the side of the mat. And then you're going to bend into um, the leg. I have my left leg to the back, so I'm bending into my left leg towards the back of my mat. And then I'm going to pull up my right toe. So depending on which leg you have back there. Extend the arms out to the side and then come all the way up. Transition, so place that right foot on the floor, heel on the floor, bend that right knee, pull the left toe up. Sliding towards the front of your mat for a side lunge. And then come all the way back up three times. Here we go. Number two, sliding to the back of your mat, pivot into the foot. Transition back to the front, getting a nice inner thigh stretch. You might notice you can get a little deeper each time. And then up, number three, kind of like you're surfing. And then last one, number three to the front. And then place both feet back to the floor. Inhale, straighten the legs. Pull the heels in so the toes go out and find your star again. And then exhale, palms to heart space, wide-legged squat. Just with a nice little shift from side to side. And then inhale the arms up. And then pivot your back, whatever legs to the back, mine's to the left, to the side of your mat. So you can pivot your right foot to the front, turn your whole body to face the front. Now you're gonna place all your weight in that right leg and you're gonna come up to a single leg stance and pull that left knee into the chest. Flexing the foot, find your focal point, your dristi, your non-moving focal point, and then maybe continue holding that knee and open it up to the left side, and breathe, maybe bring your right arm out to the side, and then back towards the center. Give that knee another squeeze into the chest, and then slowly release all the way back down, find your mountain. And breathe, inhale and exhale. We're gonna try the other side now. So you're gonna step back with the right foot or the opposite foot of wherever you went, find your star, bring your arms up. I'm just gonna add a few variety varieties here. So this time you're gonna bend the elbows, come down to your goddess, but then press the walls away. Flip the palms up, inhale, straighten the arms and the legs. Exhale, push the walls away as you bend the elbows, push way wide. Open the chest, inhale, lift, exhale back down. And number three, inhale, lift, exhale back down. And then bring both hands behind the back, interlace the fingers, straighten out those legs. Turn your toes to face the side of the mat. Release the fingertips. Inhale to the arms to the sky. Exhale, palms to heart space. Good. Keep those feet facing the side of the mat. Heels behind the toes. Bend into the back leg, the leg closest to the back of the mat. Find your side lunge again. This time I want you to twist and reach towards the back of the mat. Twisting the chest towards the back. Then lift up. Transition to the other leg. Twist and reach to the floor and to the sky. 
as you twist to the front and then to the back, slow and controlled, three times, twist and let rotate. And then to the front, we have one more, remember, three times a charm. And one more, twist and rotate. And last one, twist and rotate. Then coming back to center, turn your left foot or whatever foot you, if you went the opposite as me, that's fine. Turn your foot to the front, lean forward, pivot off your back heel, start to pull that back leg in. Find your single leg stance on the opposite leg. Hugging that right knee in, and then open up the knee to the right. And just breathe here. Inhale and exhale. And then come back through the center. And then very slowly lower that foot all the way back down. And then open up the chest nice and tall. Now we're going to do a, another little balance here and just really get the side of the body stretched out. So you're going to take your right foot and I want you to slide it behind and across to the outside edge of your left foot. So your legs are crossed. So I'll turn. I'll be the opposite you so it'll make more sense. So your right leg is behind your left. So I would look the same as you because I'm doing the opposite. All right, so then what you're going to do is you're going to reach the right arm up, left arm on the thigh, and side bend. Try to push your right arch of your foot into the floor. And then we're going to slowly release, and you're going to forward fold all the way down towards the floor. And you're going to slightly bend your knees. Now, if this is hard to reach the floor, you can always hold the shins, the cat, the quads, or even a block. And you're just breathing here, soften the knees, and then walk both hands to your right. And then all the way to the other side, to the left. And then we're coming back through the center. I want you to walk your hands up the thighs, nice and slow. Keep your balance. Find your balance. Put all your weight in that front leg, which would be your left, and then bring the other leg all the way around to cross in front. So now your right leg is in front. Right hand on the thigh, left arm up, reach it over and stretch it out. and breathe, and then we're slowly going to release and we're going to forward fold all the way down, nice and slow and controlled, stretching out through the hips, let your head hang heavy. Again, you can reach the floor, your shins, your thighs. We're going to walk both hands to the left, and then all the way to the right, keeping the arches of the feet pressed down towards the floor. And then back to the center, we're going to walk the hands up the thighs. Oh, feels so good. Now we're going to release and then uncross the legs and then just stand nice and tall. The front of your mat, take a look at your toes, make sure both are facing the front. And there's about one to two fist distance between your hands. Find your mountain. Relax those shoulders. Now we're just going to breathe and pause here for a moment. Close your eyes. One more deep breath. Inhale through the nose. Reach the arms up to the sky. Exhale. Palms to heart space. Thank you so much today for joining me. Namaste.